Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can build a full FK cow farm. This is kind of a proof of concept that I developed in my VisoCraft series and now I want to show you how you can build it yourself. So let's start right away. So we would start with our cow holding chamber and therefore you can just place any kind of block that you like. I will use glass for better visibility and uh, then we want to have a piston here facing into this block of our holding chamber. This is later on to drop the cows out. Then just surround the thing, add a dispenser right here. This is for getting water into the um, holding chamber. Then more surroundings like this. And then back here we need two more sticky pistons uh, pushing into glass blocks so we can divide the cows that are standing in here by two and dropping half of them out through this block. Next we want to take care of that we always have enough wheat. We will be standing on this end of the farm so we just place a block where we're standing on right here. We'll face into this direction and um, then we'll place two droppers like this and replace this with a hopper so the stuff gets picked up again and then we need some surroundings here so our wheat doesn't drop out so we can just place some blocks on this side and over here we will place a door to get in and out just like this and now we need a clock down below therefore we will place a block right next to the lower uh, dropper here place a redstone on top then a block here redstone torch then we will go down let's do it like this um, and place a redstone here so we can grab the signal uh, then we will go into a few repeaters it's three on full delay in total a block here then another repeater the third one right here and add a redstone here. That will start the clock so you can fill in wheat into these uh, droppers. If you have more wheat than slots in the droppers you can just place a hopper with a chest on top here on the side and now we want to stop this clock of course so we will just place a block here grab ourselves a lever and activate it so that will stop the clock for us so we can exit it from in here easily. From time to time we want to activate the dispenser down here which will get a water bucket. So the cows are jumping up and down and we can hold right click in this direction without wasting wheat to a single cow that is uh, not having a partner. So we only want the cows to jump up from time to time therefore we have the dispenser there with the water bucket and uh, we will place a little circuit which will count our pulses here. So we will just place a dropper next to this block a uh, hopper facing into it and uh, then we will um, have a little circuit here which is actually one of my tutorials it's the pulse counter so therefore we want to have a, a repeater facing into the block underneath the hopper there then a comparator coming out of the dropper then um, blocks like this with a redstone here to get the signal to the repeater then another block on top of here and a comparator facing out of there a redstone torch on the side here uh, given a signal into this um, comparator then a block in the end another redstone torch and uh, a block on top with a redstone here and that is our pulse counter so now um, we can connect it to uh, the uh, dispenser here and that's pretty simple replace this block with a solid block and uh, then we will have some blocks like this a repeater uh, right here on the second delay a repeater there on normal delay and a redstone dust right here so we don't power the um, pistons here and you can replace it one more time so the water is off again now we will place 32 items in this dropper to set uh, the uh, pulse counter so every 32 items this one uh, will uh, change its state and uh, we'll target the water maybe I can turn it on so we will see it in a moment in the meantime we will take care of the circuit 
uh, which is uh, controlling the pistons and uh, that's pretty easy we can just knock out these corner blocks here again and place down a block right here this one will have a redstone torch on the side which will power then a redstone here and uh, then uh, from the back we will uh, have to replace this block too a repeater here and this will power um, our pistons on top of here so just place redstone on top and then as well as that we will have um, oh I need to place the uh, one more down so we can place another line here get this down and have the repeater on full delay and if we place a stone button on the front here um, we can just uh, target this and these pistons will hold the cows in place that are standing on this side and the cows will just fall down on this side so we have half of the cows still in there and uh, that's already it let me show you this in action one more time so I have my inventory blocked with uh, blocks and only the first slot has uh, wheat in it and when I have uh, the first slot completely filled up with wheat uh, the wheat will just get back into the system and now I can just hold right click onto the block on the other side and as soon as the system triggers I will feed the cows with the wheat and uh, we will get baby cows so let's watch this and there we go I can breed the cows they will jump up and down for quite a bit and now I have almost all of them feeded and yeah then the water will turn off again now and we will wait until the next time um, the thing is uh, ready to use so we don't waste any wheat and we will fill up with wheat in the meantime and yeah that's it for today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and of course i want to demonstrate this too forgot it almost uh we can just drop the half of it out uh, so see you in the next video.